another day. See this? That combined with some heat shrink is gonna give me some nice results, I think. Track in the background, Caliber, Mr. Majestic, sick tune. I already started to put the wires in. Sorry, I'm too excited to press rec. I forgot. So, I'm slowly working my way in. Uh, these are the same because I kept the controls. You know how I've disassembled them. It's the opposite way, really. I'm just gonna set this on the time lapse and that's it. Hopefully, today I'll start. Here I am, two days later, uh, nothing much happened in these two days, I feel like I did so many things, but I actually just polished all the nuts and bolts, um, yeah, that's it, colors, all the colors, I gave them a little bit of a shine, uh, one thing that I did, and I didn't film it, is fit the exhausts on. Um, if you want to fit the exhausts the easy way, the best way that I found was first you fit these ones in, right? They come apart, they're linked in the middle, but they actually come apart. There's a color there, if you take it off and just take them apart. So once you put these two in, well this one in then you can go on the other side and remove this foot rest right additionally to make your life easier you can remove the side stand also because it's a bit in the way and then just start from here put them in the thing and then work the middle section inside there with this being off, you can push the exhaust pipe to where it's supposed to be and then put this back on. Uh, don't tighten it and put the screw on so that it stays here. In my case, I had to re replace the exhaust gaskets also, which was a bitch to do because there's no, you know, this one is easy, but the inside ones, oh my god. So yeah, I had to do that also. The main stand is on the bike, I did that, I think I did that yesterday. I'm super happy about the main stand because I don't need this stand anymore, which was scratching my exhaust pipes anyway. So with the main stand you can do a fair bit of work on bikes. So I pity the guys that don't have the main stand anymore, because it's, it's a brilliant tool. Uh, it lifts the back wheel, so you can troubleshoot the back wheel, take it off, blah, blah, blah. I think if you take this wheel off, the bike balance goes to the back. Um, as for the body elements, I'm gonna keep most, I'm gonna keep all of the old ones, including the fuel tank, because it's in better condition. I'll swap this to the original one because I have one key now. One key works all, bitches. Um, I also have a friend that's like a magician when it comes to polishing and finishing up stuff. So I'll take the fuel tank, the front, and these side panels, and the archway, the wheel, um, rain thingy to him uh, he's gonna fix it up really good and then we'll decide after if we need to repaint some elements or I don't know I really don't want to repaint stuff 
Uh, I just want to keep the original colors. Um, these will have to be covered if we paint it and it just makes it difficult. Uh, also I've seen this bike painted in monocolor and it destroys the the look of it, you know? These lines are perfect for for the shape really. Uh, this guy's turn now. I'm gonna try and get rid of all this rust here. And whatever it is under it. And there. Try and get rid of that, scrape it. Um, and then put some gasoline in it and start it. I am delaying this starting. I don't know why. Maybe it's delayed gravity. God. Uh, another thing that I did, forgot to mention, or not, or I don't know. These. Um, what I did was finish them up in the same manner as this. So they kind of look the same. They do look the same actually. And here for the black side, I took a small brush and like recreated the black paint inside there and then lacquered on top and it looks quite nice the same on the other side these didn't have any lacquer on top I just took them off, cleaned them I didn't even know these click, look these were so stuck like check this out click click nice the bike looks in pretty good shape now. Like it looks proper, proper nice and new. Uh, after I finish the forks and the caliper and change these uh, rims to the other rims that look a bit better, paint this disc. It's gonna look brand new, really, this bike. I'm looking forward to riding it. Now for the fuel tank. Um, I'm gonna have to clean it because it's full of rust inside. And, uh, I don't like that shit going in my brand new spanking engine. Brand spanking something spanking engine. So, yeah, it's gonna get a wash with some carb cleaner, then some pressure washer gonna get it. Uh, to take these ones out, it helps if you have these. I don't have a Philips one, I have a Posi one, so that didn't help me too much. But I have another tool. This is one of the things you find in the Aldi or Lidl in the middle section. It's a 90 degree bit angle, which is amazing for shit like this. So you take these off, this off, and then See what's inside really, I don't know what's inside. So this thing comes off. It's got like a, a gasket in here. And then this gasket comes off. Yeah. And my guess is if I remove all these screws the floater mechanism is gonna come off. 8 mil it looks like. Talking about overcomplicated, you take this off. I was expecting the floater to come off, but no, there's two more screws in there. I'm guessing after I take those off, something's gonna fucking come off. You guessed it, the screws are totally fucking stuck in there. So I'm gonna have to give them some wire brush and then. Try again, I don't know. The combination of some wire brush and um, my favorite spray in the world worked. They're out. Now, I've attempted to clean. This was the fuel tank I had originally. I've attempted to clean it and found this out. Now, that to me is kind of means on the way out. It's happening on the other side also. So, um, lucky, 
I have two of these. This one was better here for some reason. This one was worse here, but it's just surface rust. And look at that. It's, uh, it's quite in one piece. So I'm going to use this from the new bike. So Dolores will have a lot of Dolores in her, even more Dolores than she had before. This is a chat between Elon Musk and uh, Joe Rogan. Here's the moment, the truth moment. I put the tank on. I painted this black. The tank should be repainted because that's not okay. But look at the polish of this thing, man. Thank you, Maris. Alright, some gas in it. I gave it a couple of starts before with no spark plugs to build the oil oil pressure.